Hey, this is Tara, and welcome to the ninth rule of improv on um, my 10 Rules of Improv blog series. So the ninth rule of improv is respect the reality of others. So in an improv scene, what that means is um, say like your scene partner, the first one to speak basically gets to kind of create the scene and, and set, set things and can actually tell you who you are in the scene and all of it is a gift, right? Um, so basically if, if your scene partner starts off with, you know, we're in a zoo and we're in this giraffe pen and you know we've been in this giraffe family for a while now and I think it's time that we we escaped you know and they say something like that well your job as you know as an improver would be to say yes and and then you add to the scene. Like you could probably be like, yes, you know, we have been here for a long time. And uh, I think that it's, that's a good idea. We should escape. Where would you like to go? You know, and you, you kind of like, you just say something that at that yes is and validates what they, what your scene partner said. And then you forward it, move the scene forward and add something to it. It basically moves the energy of the scene forward and also gives you guys stuff to play with. Now, with that scene again, what that's that's actually that that is respecting the reality of your scene partner because they just created a reality and you just added to it and moved it forward, right? So now there is a created reality there. Okay, cool. So um if you, if, if your scene partner would have said something like, you know, we've been in this giraffe pen for a while now, and you know, I think it's time for us to escape. And then if you said to them, dude, we're not giraffes. Last time I checked, we were hippopotamuses. Well, something like that would kind of probably get a cheap laugh from the audience, yet, it would have cut off the reality that was getting created there. Um, and that's called the denial. And in improv, a denial is something that kind of kills the scene and sometimes can land in the audience as confusion. Like anytime you negate something and you're not adding to it and moving it forward, it kind of is like a scene killer. So how can we apply this in daily life? Um, so let's just say that all of us here at the Empower Network, like we are clear that we, what we're doing is creating a whole new reality for ourselves, you know, by blogging and making money and doing whatever the heck it is that we would like to do and blogging about it. That's like a creation that is creating something completely new for ourselves, right? If you go out and you tell, say, your teammates, like all of our teammates, how we all support each other and we kind of rally around each other and we, we're just like, yes, I believe in you, I know you can do it, and we keep moving each other forward, right? If you go to, say, somebody, someone that's, you know, somebody else, and they're like, like the naysayers, like, and, they're, and you're telling them all about, like, your, what you're doing here, and they say to you, well, that sounds too good to be true, or that's probably not gonna work, or the ones that are, you know, the dream killers. Like, that is an example of not respecting the reality of others. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's basically, it's basically, you know, that's how, how it can show up in daily life. So if you would like somebody, if you would like to empower somebody, you wanna like, yes, and, and then you add to their, their dream, you add to their reality that, that's, that they're generating, that they're creating. So in doing so, you forward them, you, fo you keep the energy moving, and um, 
you know, it's a lot more fun than a denial, which just kind of kills the scene, kills the conversation. So, um, that was rule number nine, respect the reality of others. And, you know, people are where they are, you know, um, and how does it get any better than that? So I'll catch you on the next blog. Take care.